Welcome to TFI. In this video, I'm going to be answering a question that came through quite a while ago uh, from someone that says, we are trying to figure out how to create a view rep in the part. Material color changes that would then be available as a toggled view rep in the assembly that contains the parts. Right, question is, I've got an assembly and you can see the main plastic body here is green. I want a toggle in the assembly that I can use to change this from green to red to blue, for example. How do I go about doing that? Right, it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. What I'm going to do is open up the part that I want the color to change in, right? Which is, I'm using my fidget spinner assembly, Soz. I know it's a daft assembly, but it works. And this is the part that I want to change color. So what you do, what you do, currently it's set to green. So I'm going to have three colors. And then you go into the browser. And then where you've got view master here, right? These are your view reps for your model. You want to right click on there and you want to go to new. And we're going to rename this to red, right? So this one's going to be the color red. And then we're going to right click again. We're going to go to uh, this one and rename this to uh, blue. And then let's do it again. Right click on here and then we'll change this one to be green. So we're going to have three colors, red, blue, and green. So first off, double click red. So whilst this view representation is red, I'm going to change the color of the model to be red because each one of these stores the color that you've set using this drop down here, right? This is the part appearance color. So I'm going to select red, drop this menu down. I'm using the Autodesk appearance library if you're following. I'm not using the inventor material library. It's more colors in this one. It's more texture. So I'm going to scroll down to smooth red. Where is it? Where is it? Smooth. Let's go for burnt red. Right, smooth burnt red. Double click blue. Drop this down again. And let's go for, again, smooth uh, navy. I'll do double click green. And then let's not use the dark green one. Let's go for another smooth color. And let's go for smooth dark forest green. Right, so now when I double click each one of these, we've now got red, we've now got blue, and we've now got green. But currently, I'm having to double click them myself to change the color. And I'm not in the assembly, which isn't much help. So I'm going to save this. In fact, let's double click master and then hit save on that and then shut that down. So that's changed nothing in the assembly. I still can't do anything yet with those three textures. So I need to be able to toggle them from assembly level. So what I'm going to do is at assembly level, right, you've also got a representations folder here. Let's just minimize all this. You've got, an, you've got a representations folder at assembly level. So I'm going to expand that and I'm going to create an, a view representation at the assembly level. So I'm going to right click on that, click new, and then rename this to red. So the way this works is you tell Inventor, whilst the assembly red view representation is active, I want you to change the representation of the fidget body, right, to be the red color at part level. Boom. There you go. So whilst red is ticked at assembly level, it's going to enable the red representation that we created earlier on at the part level. It's as easy as that easy as that so then we can create another one uh, assembly level and we'll call this blue whilst blue is ticked right click on fidget body go to representations change that to be blue okay same again you know what's coming new change this one to green they don't have to be the same names uh, you just create this link uh, you just tell it whilst that one's enabled enable that one and then okay okay that's pretty much it that's all you do so whilst representations is expanded double click red that'll now change the part color of this body here to be red same for blue and then same for green that's all you've got to do that's how it's done so that changes just the color if you've came here thinking hmm that's great i want to be able to change the material though not just the color i want to change the material well it's a completely different <laughs> it's a completely different ball game uh, to do the materials, if you want to toggle the materials like I'm toggling the colors here, we need to work with eye parts and eye assemblies. And I'm not really going to go into depth on eye parts and eye assemblies at this point in this video, but I'll show you how to do it anyway. You can try and follow. <laughs> You can try and follow, but you might not really understand what I'm doing. If, you, if you're not familiar with what eye parts are, I'll link a video up here where I've already covered what an eye part is. By all means, go and check that out. Uh, but we need to use eye parts and eye assemblies to toggle materials. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the fidget body. And then we're going to convert this into an eye part, right? So you click the Manage tab on the ribbon bar whilst you're in the part. And then select Create Eye Part. Uh, we're going to create a second row. And whilst... Uh, for both of these rows, we're only really going to change the material. I'm not changing anything else. I'm not changing any sizes. So I'm going to select the Properties tab at the top, expand Physical, click Material, and then add that in. So 
Variation one and variation two, we've got two variations of this body. This body can be in two different forms. So in form one, currently the material is ABS plastic. Form two, the material is also ABS plastic, but I'm gonna change that, I'm gonna call this. So let's type in aluminum. 6061 right so click verify if you have spelt it wrong all right it'll if you click verify you'll get a little yellow cell that's inventor saying or oh, you've spelt it wrong i don't recognize that material uh, and it's obviously referencing the materials from this drop down here so there's aluminium 6061 so for variation two it's going to use aluminum variation one it's going to use abs plastic right for member and part number this is where you can tell inventor what you want it to identify the name of the part to be so variation one of the fidget body is going to be the plastic body and then variation two of the i part is going to be the metal body and i'm just going to leave the part number alone for now i'm just going to leave that as actually no that wouldn't make much sense let's say metal let's call that one metal body o2 okay once that's done, we're going to click OK. That's going to create an eye part with two variations of this body. So if we expand table, we've got the plastic body and we've also got the metal body. Uh, you can double click the metal body and you should see at the top. It takes a couple of seconds for it to kick in, uh, but the metal, the material should change to be metal uh, or alum, aluminium 6061 whilst metal body is ticked. All right, so the next thing you've got to do is make a standard IAM file and then you click place and then place in your fidget body. So this is the eye part. You're placing the eye part into an assembly and then you've got to tell it which variation you want to place in. If you don't like the table view, you can click keys and then under material, you can say, well, I want to place in the variation with the, the metal body. And then you click OK, click OK, and then that's going to place in the metal body into the assembly. Right, the next thing you've got to do is you've got to convert this assembly into an eye assembly. So you've got to click manage, go to create eye assembly, and then you, just like you would, just like you did with the eye part, you've got to create two variations of the eye assembly. You then got to select your body, add that in, and then for variation one of the eye assembly, you use the metal body. Variation two of the eye assembly, you use the plastic body. Click OK, and that's now given you an eye assembly, configurable assembly, variation one, metal body, double click variation two, and that'll swap it out and put in the plastic body. So that's not very simple. That's not very simple and not very intuitive. It works. It's just not. It's just not great. It, well, it it is. It's fine. It's just for a beginner. I can imagine you looking at it going, uh, uh. Oh, I think I'll stick with the colours. <laughs> that's fine. That is fine. But anyway, that's how you do it. That's how you change out materials. And the first technique that I showed you at the start of the video. That's how you would swap out colours. So uh, there you go. That's a uh, quick tip. Kind of quick. <laughs> See you in the next one. Toodles.